Welcome back to Gloucester. I've got my old balls out. Let's see if I can play with them. Well, that was two very weird shot shapes. And I think it could be because this ball came in a driving range bucket. Well, not the best putt to start the round, is it? And that is heavily under hit, which is going to be a feature of today. Hello and welcome back to Gloucester Golf Club. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm playing with old balls. Now, way back in the winter, I had a little ball test with the old Max Fly Revolution. And it was kind of like inconclusive, simply because the ground was soft and every ball was going exactly the same distance. I recently got a second Revolution out of the uh, driving range machine. So I thought, I've got two balls now, I can play around a golf, and if I lose one, I've got another. So I've teed off the first with the one that came out of the driving range machine, and I think it is probably too badly damaged. Those opening two shots were, let's just say they were rubbish, to say beeping. I think it might be the ball, might be me. I'm, I'm a bit stiff after playing yesterday. So I'm switching on to the new Revolution, relative term, because it is still 22 years old. And the reason I'm doing it here at Gloucester is because this is where I used to play the Revolution. So the question is, do these balls still play? Obviously not on the first. Or am I just a nostalgic old idiot? Well, I'm a full 25 yards shorter than yesterday with this revolution, but it doesn't matter on this hole. I think I may have popped the driver up a bit too, if I'm honest. Six iron, the same as yesterday. Let's see if it will reach. Oh my, that is right down the banner. Just turning a fraction on the wind. What a shot. Got to make up for that opening bogey. Oh, Simon. This tee shot gave me bother yesterday. That is absolutely perfect, straight over the trees. 260 yards. Not bad for a 22 year old golf ball made of rubber, is it? Same six iron as yesterday. I'm just aiming a little further left so I can find the fairway this time. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. And it's gone the right distance, so 
I'm not unhappy with the ball. Now, unfortunately, with the greens being sanded, there isn't going to be any of the legendary Max Fly Revolution spin. And it feels a bit harsh, so I think over 22 years, the rubber has changed. Because this is the old rubber wound golf ball. And then to add insult to injury, I put poorly. Number six, wind's a bit stronger than yesterday. And I pop this up, up again, just leaving the face over open on the driver. And this is very short. I've only driven this about 212, 215 yards. Now, if anyone wants to know how to cut a three wood with a ball above your feet, I charge a hundred pounds. Just caught one leaf. Unfortunately, one leaf can rob you of a lot of distance. Left myself 50 yards. And that's a semi knife. Oh, that's the birdie chance gone. couple of workmen out there on the corner so they're on my line so this is kind of like a safety drag down the left but I've dragged it into the left hand rough fortunately no trees in the way just a seven iron into the wind the rough shut the rough shuts the face of the club isn't English difficult at times now this is a chip I've hit loads of times. It's very simple, four feet left of the flag and it will release down to the hole for a tap in. But um, being Green's maintenance week, a little bit on the slow side. Yeah. Right, I cleared the pond with absolute ease yesterday. So let's see how the revolution does. And I popped it up again. I failed to carry by six inches. I saw the splash at the far end of the pond. Six inches. Well, after yesterday, I am trying the three wood. Need a bit more firepower, but I've just dragged this a tiny bit left. And that's down the bank where you don't want to be. And I've only just got it up. That was so poor. I was hoping to make a par on this hole today. Yep, another bogey. Right, I've put away the rubbish revolution and I've pulled out the A10. A10 was the first of the plastic fantastic 
golf balls from Max Fly. Now hopefully this will do me better around the back nine. Well, this is a chip I must have played 200 times. Doesn't seem like I've forgotten how to do it. Hybrid again up number 11, almost said number 12 then. And again, a bit of a low pull. For some strange reason, I much prefer the competition tee box on that hole. Always have done. Now next summer when the greens are back to good, I would like to do a putting and chipping video on this green. Just to show you how awkward it is and how to put and chip on a green that is this severe. That's going to be fun. Just have to ask Keith, see if he'll let me do it. What I'm going to try here, just for future reference, should I ever come back, is I'm aiming well left of the hole and to see if it will bounce down onto the green. So this is a bit of an experiment, sort of thing you do on practice rounds to see how many beans make five. And I've only just made it down onto the fringe, so it's not a shot I'm going to play again next time I will play for the heart of the green. Take an extra club. And, well, the putt is short as usual. Let's talk about the balls. Well, the Revolution was a rubber wound ball. And in 22 years, it's firmed up. And the one off the range is out of shape. Now this A10, which was the plastic ball, the urethane covered ball, that came off a of range, but it has survived an awful lot better than the natural product Revolution. Now those who've played the Revolution know what a great ball it was at the time. I still think it's a great ball. It's just that I'm playing with 22 year old examples of it. I tell you what, putting a rubber wound ball in the pros mitts now, that would see uh, who's a good golfer or not. Oh my, I leant back on that one. Remember yesterday, or yesterday's round, when I said you can't go down the right? Well, this is the view. I went under the ball a bit here, so it hasn't carried, it's dropped in the sand. Simon, you should know better. Now this shot would normally roll away. And I've just popped it up and it is short.
Thought I'd show you this in the bunker. Apart from my shadow, mining bees. Little bees. Dig holes in the face of the bunker. Shame about my shadow. Mining bees. Sixteen, the flag's on the left. The sensible shot is at the middle of the green. But I always used to hit between the left edge of the green and the flag, because that's where the birdies live. Gloucester Golf Club members will recognise this position after the drive. All you've got to do though is set your lower body, keep it still and channel your inner sevy. We've still got a birdie chance. Oh, Simon, you should know better than that, mate. You're missing these. I've waited for the game in front to get down to the bottom of the hill. You can just about make out the golf cart. This one's going to get launched. That's better than yesterday. It's about three or four yards further right than yesterday. This one's going right to the bottom. I've had to drop a ball because the game in front picked my ball up. They came off the green, they saw my ball, they thought, what's that doing there? So they picked it up. That's not the first time that's happened to me on this bloody hole. Right, let's go catch up with that two ball in the car and get my damn ball back. Oh boy. Well, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do something different with the next video, or rather the next video after the next video. Cheerio. Yeah.